Alright, quick update for Spell Token. Now I'm going to make this video very, very quick, um, mainly because there's nothing to talk about in the macro structure. So just quickly, obviously the macro structure, if we look at this, is very bearish. There's no information I can give you from drawing, you know, the fibs from the lows to the highs. Uh, simply because I believe the targets down here would be in the minuses, so there's nothing to see here. We've broken below all of the FIB levels there, so market structure is extremely bearish in the short term. Um, what I am analyzing right now is these two micro FIBs that we've got. Uh, one, this one's a little bit more significant, so I would be paying attention to this big green box that we've got coming down here. Uh, you can see the top of this green box actually lines up with this micro FIB. If you can see the 1.618 right here uh, this marks the top of this green box and this bigger 1.618 uh, is from this uh, this bigger micro fib that we've got from the low to the high here now together these two 1.618 fib retracements are telling me that you know the next place to bounce or the next place to have a dead cat bounce or a bottoming signal would be around this region here so uh, like I said in yesterday's video your last line in the sand for this to not break down is literally where we're sitting at right now so uh, if i put a line right here you can see this is 0 0.0035 once we lose that i mean there's there's nowhere else for us to go apart from this drop down here and um, we were talking about this you know like maybe four you know we've only come down like four percent or so but uh, really the only thing to pay attention to is if we hold this line um, we can actually move this down a tiny bit let me um let me get the uh, the right fib. So uh, the the accurate level is you know around about zero point zero zero three four uh, three four seven. Uh, the point is you know you can just pull up a trading view chart, put a horizontal line nicely on it, and that is really the only thing you need to keep an eye on in my opinion. I don't see you know any world where we just break down and just come out. There's nowhere for us to bottom down here. Uh, so yeah, all in all, keep an eye on this level. If we do lose it. Like I said, you've got a, uh, the conservative drop would be a 29% move. And if we do come all the way down to this, uh, this macro fib, um, or not macro, but you know, it's slightly bigger than this one here. And, and obviously this one is more valid than this one. So in the short term, you know, we could see something like this, a breakdown, a tiny little bounce, a retest, and then, you know, hopefully bottoming somewhere in this box. Um, I personally don't hold spell token, or, or at least I don't hold it yet. Um, I wouldn't be adverse to buying it if it did put in a bot bottoming signal. But right now, I can obviously see that we're in a st strong downtrend, and I would be sitting on the sidelines until we make a decision. So, um, obviously, the bearish target down here is, you know, 46%. If we angle this green box now that we've got a slightly more accurate FIB placement, um, you're... You know your your conservative target for a breakdown is this this level here, which is a thirty percent drop from where we are now, or it's a thirty percent drop from the breakdown, um, only like a thirty one percent drop from where we are now. So all in all, keep uh, keep an eye on this. If you did want to keep up with it, you know, live yourself, I recommend going on Trading View, um, just pulling up the Spell USD chart. Uh, putting a horizontal ray on your screen and then you know just go, putting an alert for it if because if we do break below it in my opinion it is going to get nasty in the short term so that is all i've got for you to, for spell today i purposely haven't covered the rsi or the money flow indicator um mainly because i could do it in like two seconds the uh, the R, the rsi looks like shit there's all there's literally no strength to it we're falling off the table and we're barely you know bouncing from 30 and the money flow indicator is currently heading down so i would be expecting a drop i personally don't expect this uh, this box to hold especially if bitcoin has some turbulence coming in the next few days if bitcoin doesn't basically go up in a straight line then you know we've we've invalidated this uh inverse head and shoulders and then you know it is really shaky as to what the market is going to do next so that is honestly all i see for spell token if you are holding it best of luck and yeah keep an eye on this level here if we lose it, it's going to get very dangerous so yeah uh, once again none of this is financial advice this is just my opinion on the market and you've always got to do what's best for you cowboy out peace